इश्क क्या मुहबत क्या भूल बैठा सब कुछ मैं तो दिन क्या रात क्या चाहत में खाली सलाम दुआ मुलाकात में चेहरे की रंगत बदल रही है तेरी सोहबत में खाली सलाम दुआ मुलाकात में चेहरे की रंगत बदल रही है तेरी सोहबत में ये तूने क्या किया ये तूने क्या किया मैं दिल की जन्नत में खाली सलाम दुआ मुलाकात में चेहरे की रंगत बदल रही है तेरी सोहबत में Which is 
uh, extraordinary event in everyone's life, whether you be female or male, everyone would have to go through this at some point in life. And then later on, this will become a memorable moment in history. So, we want to give our blessings that this couple don't have to do this again, but just to cherish this one, that they won't have to go through this again. So, that is a beautiful thing of this Viva Sanskar. And each and every one of you should give good blessings after them. So, I don't have too much to say. In fact, I can go on and on. But I don't want to take up much of your time. So, I just want to congratulate them on this special event. And may they have all the little blessings or whatever I may have in my capacity. So, thank you very much. Uh, groom's mind right now, but I will make a jump on it, right? This man is sitting down here right now, thinking to yourself, boy, I see the luckiest man in the world. Look at my bride. I just can't wait to get home. And I just can't wait to keep this woman as my bride for the rest of my life. Isn't that what's running through your mind? Yes. <laughs> Wonderful. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I want to share a scripture with you very quickly that speaks to marriage, all right? It's taken from the Holy Bible, and um, for those of you who know the Holy Bible, there's a book called the Book of Mark. And in Mark, there's chapter 10, verse 6, and I'll read until uh, up to verse 9, all right? So here's what it says, Mark chapter 10, ver uh, verse 6 to 9. However, from the beginning of creation, he made them male and female. For this reason, a man will leave his father and his mother, and the two will become one flesh. So that they are no longer two, but, as we said, one flesh. Therefore, what God has put together, let no man put aside, let no man put apart, let no man separate. All right? This that we see here today is a union that was witnessed before God and before man, and so no one can come between the two of you. The two of you are tied together for eternity. As you said your vows earlier, until death do us part. And even then, you continue loving each other. All right, what we'll do right now, we'll call on the father of the groom to share a few words with us. Uh, so we're calling on Dennis right now. Dennis, please come forth so you can share um, a few words to your son and to your new daughter. Hello. Hi, good afternoon. I'd just like to thank everybody for visiting our home. Jean and Donnie. Lots of people know we are Jean and Donnie. But thank everybody again for coming. I got lots of friends. But half of them have come here. But let me just contend with you. But let me tell you this. I come a long way, and my story is real sharp. I just want to wish you bright and grow successful life. And I love them, love them to take my footsteps. For the seven years of marriage life, without the problem. Thank you. True definition of short and sweet, right? Yeah, short and sweet. All right, thank you very much, uh, father of the groom. And now we'll call on the mother of the groom, Jean, to come forth so um, that she can give her little uh, well wishes as well. After that, what we'll do, we'll open the microphone to relatives and other family members to give their well wishes. All right, so gather your thoughts. Good afternoon, everyone. I wish the bride, Ravi and Lisa, happy marriage life, good health and strength, and all the happiness in the world. Thank you. Even shorter and sweeter. This program is really going nice now. <laughs> <laughs> I can see we have the entertainer in the building. Put your hands together for the entertainer. <laughs> the life of the party is what we would call him, right? Yeah. All right, so um, we're moving along nicely, as you just heard. What we're gonna do now, we're gonna open the microphone to relatives and other family members to come and give your well wishes, and we're asking you to keep it very short, all right?
relationship and Lisa as my sister and as the pundits say that if there's a problem and you need someone to talk to rather than returning to the home of your father you can come to me and uh, 15 years I married and I had tons of experience in marriage life and there's always there where you can come both of you and whatever it is Marriage is all about compromising. There will be ups and downs. There's nothing as such as a perfect marriage. So, sit, talk, endless conversations, and all the best to you in the future, and congratulations. All right, thank you very much. Uh, Rob was talking about 15 years of marriage, and still you wrote here, Rob, Rob, Rob. Seriously? <laughs> you gotta learn to get your roti wrong, all right? So you're coming forward, thank you. All right, good afternoon, everyone. Um, you know, as I was walking into this yard, I reminisced of my own childhood and growing up in this yard with Ravi and his brothers. It was quite a pleasant memory for me. But, um, you know, this afternoon, it's really good to spend time with family and all of you here in wishing Ravi and his wife congratulations. Um, I want to wish you the best and as someone said communication is so important in your marriage 
Um, communicate, communicate, communicate. It's so very important. Um, I'm no expert <laughs> on marriage, but um, you know, I've, I've learned from other people. Give God thanks for you and you and your wife, and you know, um, have a wonderful married life together. May you have many, many, many children, um, even as you. Even as you have joined together this, this afternoon. Thank you. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. For all those who don't know me, I'm the young sister. First, I would like to congratulate my brother and his gorgeous wife on your marriage today. Friends and family of Kenrick and Miss Lisa, welcome and thank you all for being here on this important day. We gathered today. We gathered together to celebrate a very special love between Ravi and Lisa by joining them in marriage. You both are to be commended on your planning and preparation for today's big event. It has been amazing wedding days are meant to be unforgettable as this one certainly will be. I for one will not forget how heartwarming it was to see two wonderful people like Mama and Lisa making their vows to each other this morning. What a pleasure it is seeing them now share their happiness on this special day with us all. <laughs> Mama and Lisa, your marriage today is in the public and legal by joining of your soul that have already been united as one in your heart. Marriage will allow you a new environment to share your life together, stand together, and face life and the world hand in hand. Marriage is going to expand you as an individual, define you as a couple, and depend your love for one another. So let your marriage be a time of walking each morning and falling in love with each other all over again. At this time, I'd like to say a few words about my brother. First, I would like to thank you for the wonderful role you played in my life. I'd say the role of the most strict, caring, and encouraging father. Even though you are my third brother, you always guide me through the right path and have been by my side to encourage me every step. You are my role model and I will always look up to you. And also have great respect for Thank you for your, you are truly being an amazing brother to me. Thanks for your strictness towards me, your lectures, and all your good advice offered. I sincerely appreciate it all. In closing, I just want to wish you and your beautiful wife nothing but all the very best on your special day. A long lasting marriage life filled with tons of good luck, strength, and happiness. So, Miss Lisa, I officially welcome you to the Jibus family. Please bring us a niece and granddaughter to my parents. We all love you. God bless. Enjoy the rest of your night to both of you and all the invitees. Congratulations to Mr. Kenry and Miss Lisa Jibu. Miss Lisa, I would like to tell you two things about Mr. Kenry. A good and a bad. Take the bad first. Mr. Kenry does eat six times a day. And I'm talking about snack, six plate of rice. <laughs> but, uh, let us forget. Uh, the, the good about him, you don't have to go in the interior to find gold. You find gold right in down. So, I hope you know how to care a man. <laughs> 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 
So, just have a, a happy life together. I have many more things to say, but you laugh like I just couldn't. <laughs> Alright, thank you very much. A round of applause there. A round of applause. But hold on, seriously, you've got to be joking about six plates of rice. You've got to be joking. Sweetheart, he's joking. Don't be scared. You can make this girl get up and run away. And it will be all your fault. Alright. Right? Three. Okay. The last one, you know. Huh? The last one, you know, for the right? <laughs> 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 Mommy, will you wear the friendly speech? celebrating and enjoying yourselves, let me just tell you, it doesn't stop here, all right? Let me tell you what I mean by that. We don't celebrate Ravi and Lisa just today. We celebrate them all the time, every day. Do we have that clear? Yeah? We celebrate them every day, all the time. And um, mommy and daddy, I don't know where they are, but mommy and daddy, you know how it goes sometimes, right? Husband or wife get back, you run to mommy or daddy. Listen, mommy and daddy, what you need to do is to pray with them and send them back to each other. Alright? They must work themselves out. Alright? If you have water, we're going to toast with that. Alright? And while we prepare everything, let me just remind you to be responsible this evening. If you came out here and you are driving, if you are enjoying yourself and you can't make it home,
You may kiss your bride. Come on, don't be shy. Kiss your bride. Let's go. Thank you for bringing us all here. Thank you for uniting them. Thank you so much for this union between this man and this woman. As your word says, who God joins together, let no man separate. And so we pray, we pray, oh God, for their continuous success. Blessings over their life, blessings over their marriage, and may they forever be together as a couple. May they forever move forward in success, in happiness, in prosperity. Let your blessing be over your lives, forever and ever and ever. Amen. Thank you, Jesus! Ladies and gentlemen, we have come to the end of this evening's ceremony. I now invite you to enjoy yourselves. The dance floor is here. You can dance, you can eat, you can drink. Um, oh yeah, we, sorry, we are not at the end yet, I'm sorry. The groom has to respond, the groom has to give his speech, and then we'll throw the bouquet. So all of those bachelorettes, all of those bachelorettes, get yourselves ready. Whoever catches this bouquet, you know what the tradition says, right? You know what the tradition says. So before we throw the bouquet, we'll invite the groom to come forth and give his speech on behalf of his bride. Ravi, please come forth and give his speech. Uh, good night, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you all for this memorable occasion. I'm going to witness the marriage of my wife. I want to thank you all. Okay, I know who's going back. But you might notice why I took this short break just now. As he mentioned, you told me you're going to cut the cake. But I make a mistake. But you're wrong. You didn't tell me what this is.
Bring back the girls to take jump with them warriors. Oh. Fuck me, go to the thing, then come to the end. But he had a smile was there too. He had a smile, raise your hand. He was there. I was on the scaffold and she was downstairs. But she tried to get me attention, but I was busy painting, man. But I used to shy for watching the girls. I don't know old George. But they take a long, long while to start by eight years of talking. Eight years. They keep going down to Sawa, man. That last week, time to Sawa. They take eight years. We're rock on. But they say for the city. So, if we don't get a time to all, I want to cool down because I got a third time. So, for the thing is, I can't have it. But then the police come to talk about music or anything. So, they make a long, 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 I want to say thanks to everyone for coming out and you have to enjoy yourself. Thank you. I kid you not. I kid you not. That is the best groom speech I've ever heard. The best. <laughs> Straight to the point. It was the bouquet. It was a movie. <laughs> all right, ladies and gentlemen, now come forward and wish the bride and groom um, all your well wishes. You can take your selfies, you can take photographs, and so on. And I think that's where we bring the curtain down on the ceremony. <laughs>